So Light to Sound VC lets you explore the light in your environment by translating it to sound. It does this by converting the small current from a photodiode into a voltage that's then used to drive an amplifier. Any light that fluctuates at an audible frequency and is in the visible to near infrared spectrum can be picked up by the circuit. the uh, actual kit. So light to sound. It's a sticker. I bet this is actually the case for the project. There's some parts, including some surface mount stuff. Here's the beautiful circuit board. It's kind of got a welcome to Night Vale feel to it, doesn't it? Oh yeah. I wonder if these are two different options for the case or for the top and bottom or whether one's for the case and one's for just sticking on whatever else you like. My laptop and my rack can always use more stickers. Oh, head is headphones. And the, the light sensor goes in the pupil. That's neat, that looks like a photodiode. This, uh, is this going to be a trans impedance amplifier? So this is the audio amplifier then, and then this is an, an op amp that they're probably using as a pre-amplifier. Um, and trans impedance is a way of configuring an op amp to convert a current into a voltage. The, the photodiode produces a very small current, which is proportional to the light levels. And so you want a pretty high gain, also pretty low noise amplifier. Love schematics. So that's a reverse protection diode, just some power stabilization capacitor, and then this is also making a voltage reference. So this is a resistor divider that's picking half the power supply voltage, and then we're stabilizing that with another capacitor and buffering it with half of the op amp. You need like a virtual ground that's like halfway in the middle, because if you were to use a real ground, then you can only represent positive voltages. And then this is effectively the resistance that the small current gets multiplied by. This looks like an op amp. It's specialized to drive speakers and headphones. It's a like really traditional headphone slash speaker amplifier. And this is just going to be wired up according to its data sheet pretty much. Good like introductory surface mount circuit. So we've got some notes about specific parts here, but it seems like generally we're just starting with the small passives and moving up as per usual. Basically just want to dump them out of the package at this point unless you've got a vacuum pickup tool. This little pack, I think we're just using one of those. Right. Under here. Oh, these are the, the resistors in series with the headphone outputs. The 
at the bottom. Like this, this would be a nice project if you're new at surface mount. There's just a lot of room to uh, get larger tools in there if you need to. Two Meg resistors next. These will be R5 and 6. They aren't kidding saying that you need a strong light or some magnification to see the line on the diode. It is very faint. So it's still pretty subtle, but you can see there a line maybe on the right side. Literally lean the light panel up against the microscope approach. There are a lot of ways to solder these, um, depending on how big they are and what tools you have. You could use solder paste and a hot air gun, a large soldering iron tip and drag soldering, where you kind of move a solder ball from pin to pin and it kind of pulls the excess along with it. Since this is a pretty big chip and I have a pretty small soldering iron tip, I'm just gonna solder them individually, but there are other ways to do that if you don't have a tiny soldering iron tip. All right, so dot matches, part number matches, so I'm gonna do the same thing I've been doing with the other parts and just tack down one pin and use that to get the orientation. Okay, that's just barely tacked on. It'll need a better soldering job, but that'll hold it for the rest of these. This one is so cute. It's got such a good little dimple. Electrolytic capacitors are next. 220s, 10 mics, and then the photodiode. I don't see a note on why this includes two different kinds of photodiodes. I mean, I'm guessing the one with the dark enclosure is especially for infrared. Pow R. These are kind of like Monopoly houses. These could be Monopoly petroleum storage tanks. <laughs> Not quite what I was going for. Looks right. I'm gonna add a lot more solder on the other side now. At this point, we have to install one of these two diodes. I think we're gonna install the clear one. You know, it looks deceptively like an LED, but then you look at the wafer in there and it's actually got a lot of surface area. That is a pin diode. That's cool, really big. I haven't seen one in this package before. And then the other diode, we can't really see into it enough to see how big the die is, I think. Maybe if we illuminate it with infrared light, we could see inside. So like right there, there's a long line and a short line. That's great. I keep touching hot things today. My fingers are starting to feel it. I don't know, that seems like plenty of length. We can strip this with fingernails. Yep. And these go up through this hole and then down into that hole. So something like that, I think. Good strain relief. This is low sensitivity, so we've got some hum. Uh, what do I have that does modulated light output? Maybe this light panel. Ooh, yeah. Wow. 
lot of different frequencies. That's just from changing the color temperature on this light. The studio lighting is like a roar of different frequencies. That's the microscope light. Whoa, geez, what was that? I think that was the IR laser on Tuco Flyer. It even sounds like a laser should sound. What about the lasers underneath the robot? Oh gosh, that's terrible. Some of these sounds are really unsettling. Is that the backlight or the proximity sensor, you think? Because here's the backlight, but I think, I think that's the proximity sensor. Yeah, it's very long range, see that? Oh yeah, a fan might be interesting too. Do I have a little fan close by? Whoa. Oh my gosh. It's like this thing is a step sequencer. I like how you can mix the volume by uh, pointing it at one LED or the other. Oh, a flicker candle. Oh, I think I do have a flicker candle. I'll be right back. Whoa. Sorry. motor from an old printer with an LED on it. <laughs>